So this driver asks a legit question, right? I want to know who took this trash trip because in red here, another driver matched to this request, meaning someone with higher intelligence said, let me look at these numbers. Let me look at what they pay. Nah, I don't drive for that crap. But the sad thing is, the sad thing is that another driver desperate enough to pick up the crumbs like a chicken or a pigeon. I'll take it. I'll take it. Some desperado picked this up. Now, when this happens, when another desperate driver picks up the crumbs or the little seeds that they throw out there to lure you in, we will never, ever be able to raise the bar, ladies and gentlemen. And what, what do I mean by raising the bar? If people don't work together as a proper ride share and extended ride share families and put their foot down or they put their feet down together and say, you know what? We don't drive unless this maybe equates to a dollar a mile across the board. And you would have to have every driver on the page, on the same page, rejecting, rejecting, right? Probably a lot of drivers with low acceptance rates before this vanishes. If we are not able to raise the bar collectively because there are desperados out there, right? There's another driver out there that is willing to match this request, this offer. We will never, ever achieve our goals. So it is our duty, whether you use social media, whether it means you interact with someone at a holding lot at an airport and say, listen, let's all get on the same page, right? Let's all work together. In Kenya, they are using walkie talkies. I mean, it is amazing, right? That they can actually use walkie talkies and say, hey, listen, have you seen, have you guys seen, um, you know, they're on the same sort of bandwidth. Have, have you seen the offers that come in? Uh, let's all band together and only accept from here upwards. Meaning that they reduce the chances that another desperado picks up those crumbs because they are actually willing to all get on the same page, all be aligned with their worth, right? Not when, when one has a worth here, I only drive for this. And the other one says, oh, I'll pick up the crumbs. I'll be a little pigeon today. I, I have no problem putting on my little chicken suit. I'll drive for anything. I'll drive for $2. Right? We're not going to achieve this. We have to learn how to work together educate other drivers and raise the bar because it F's with their algorithms. It's like, oh, hell, what's happening here in Kenya? Oh, these drivers are not picking up the crumbs anymore. We, we're throwing out the seeds. We're throwing out little loaves of bread and slices of bread, but, 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 but the pigeons are not taking it anymore. That is what we need to achieve, right? Very easy. It's not difficult. Find a fellow driver and have a conversation about this. Whether you're in Miami, whether you're sitting at LAX airport. Hey, guys. Listen up, listen up, right? Where is this thing? My batteries are probably low. Listen up, drivers. Let's all get on the same page, right? We don't drive for under a dollar a mile. And once we start sticking together these dumb messages here will start disappearing. Don't be a pigeon. Don't be a chicken today. Don't feed on the crumbs. Don't take the seeds. Know your self worth. It's not difficult, folks. It's not difficult. It really ain't difficult. Start working together. Your comments, please.